In this video, we'll bounce the equation for Al plus Cu NO3 2. This is aluminum plus copper 2 nitrate. So we're going to use a bit of a trick to make this easier, and I'll show you how we do that. We have one aluminum, one copper, but then this nitrate ion, NO3, very common in chemistry. Nitrate here, and then on the product side, we have nitrate as well. So we're going to count this as just one item. So we have one nitrate times two gives us two of those. One aluminum, one copper, and then one nitrate times the three. Three nitrates. Hmm. So it looks like probably what we could do is if we could get this to be an even number, that would make it a lot easier to balance. So I'm just going to multiply this by two. So we have the one aluminum times two. That gives us two aluminums. Then we have one nitrate times three. So we have three nitrates times two. Three times two. That gives us six. So now it looks like we need to put a three in front of the copper two nitrate. One times three, three copper atoms. But we have two times one. So two nitrates times three. Two times three, that gives us six. And we can balance the coppers by just putting a three here. One times three, that gives us three. And we have two aluminums and then one. Put a two here, one times two. That gives us two. And this equation, it's balanced. So we did two things here. One is we counted the nitrate as just one item because it appears on both sides. The other thing we did is when we had that odd number here, we multiplied by two. So we had an even number of nitrates. That made it a lot easier to balance on this side. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Al plus CuNO32, aluminum plus copper 2 nitrate. Thanks for watching.